Well, welcome to this video on Windows 10 Autopilot. Most IT staff know the routine. You buy the laptops, they ship to your offices, you image them, you send them out, the user enrolls. This can take a lot of time, a lot of tools, and a lot of effort. Combining new cloud technologies such as Azure AD and Intune alongside Windows 10 Autopilot deployment, we can now streamline the end user experience while still maintaining the control and the compliance that an MDM solution provides. We can now deliver the end device directly from the OEM to the end user, allowing for a greater client experience. So what experience does the user get? As you can see here, I'm using a Windows 10 1703 installation on Hyper-V for testing purposes only. Usually you'd get the device hardware ID from the OEM. Uh, there are ways of to retrofit your local devices once 1703 has been installed. I'll put the links below in the comments section. As you can see here, the user still has to check their language, keyboard uh, and region. These things are mandatory. I have however taken the rest of the decisions away from the user and enforced what the corporate policy may or may not require you to do. At this point, this now goes off to the internet must be connected to the internet. It will detect, very much like the debt program for Apple products, that this device is registered with the autopilot service. The user will then log on with their Azure AD credentials. This will then begin the auto enrollment to Azure AD. Um, most notably, the user will not be created as a local admin to, to this device. Uh, this basically, this is a configurable option in terms of the profile, again, which I will show you in the next video. So here we go, it's enrolled. In the background, uh, Intune or Airwatch or Mobile Iron, you can choose which devices uh, MD MDM solution you can use. Um, that's configured within the Azure portal. Um, and it's done. The user then has any applications. In this case, I'm using Intune. This is now bringing the policies down that would configure the desktop, install office, etc. etc. This is great because it means that uh, the user never has to come to the office to receive their end user device. But IT and any security people out there can be assured that the policies that are, that are defined through the company are being applied. As you can see here, we're using the business store. And there's just, just a few random apps. Uh, that I've deployed to my environment and that's it. So as you can see here I'm logged in with my Azure AD credentials so any policies applied to my, my account will become and be enforced. So if you like this video please comment down below if you have any questions you can please add a comment positive negative I'm still learning on this but you know please subscribe if you do wish, wish to do so.